Tarek and Alulu on yep. the same team. My god. Hello everyone, I'm Gandare, and with me is... Four Court Jester, alive and kicking. And we are here casting the uh, dominate DominateDominion.com Dominion Tournament. And, uh, Third place match. Yes, sir. Uh, we're about to load into the game. I love that uh, that kicking fast load screen that comes after the spectator delay. It's so much better than you know waiting to see who's playing on a toaster and who's playing on an i7. Still takes a bit after this, so I mean we're still sitting here. <laughs> yep. Hmm. I'm looking at Morgana. She's running clairvoyance. Yep. And clairvoyance is uh is really handy for you get people that duck around those corners, and it's really good for picking off those um those uh, those runners that. You know, with the with the very ample terrain that's going on, and it's also you know good for you know everything. I I did again. I thought I was playing Jax, and I like tried to buy, and it didn't work. Um, let's introduce the two teams that we got here. We have on the left side of the map, uh, we have Konami Code is what I'm calling <laughs> their team. Their team is yeah, blah, 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 U U D D L R L R B A Start is the name of yep. their team, which is the Konami yep. Code for those who are not familiar yep. with it. Uh, Good code. Yes, sir. Give you give you a bunch of lives in contra. You could actually beat that game with it. It's, it's very handy. We got a uh, Lil Rut playing as Tarek. We have a uh, Matrux playing as Jax. Serex playing as Pantheon. Pizzle Nut playing as Renekton. Super Waha playing as Lulu. Who we got on the other side of the map? Well, for the third time today, Malika. It is going to be that Yorick down south. Arcos going to be that Urgot top. We got Wawix not really going for that support this round. He has played Sona twice. Now he's going to be Morgana. Chavez Obama, not a Jarvan. It is going to be Cog and Sifu Calvin in that in Italy. So a lot of different skill shots on this team between Cogma, between Morgana, between uh, Nidalee. That, that's a lot of skill that you need to be putting forward here into Dominion. And we'll see... Uh We'll see how well they can aim the battle having just started. We got uh, Renekton and York heading down to the bottom. We got both teams heading up to the top lane. I feel like a, I feel like a shark, I'm watching, I'm waiting for that school of fish to pass right in front of me. Hmm. I'm very curious to see how this Tarek's going to be running out because this is the first team that's not running that mass revive that we've been seeing in virtually every game. Yep, and that clairvoyance go down on the way up so they could see who was coming and where. Uh, Tark taking a bunch of damage at the beginning there. Making use of that range with, uh, with Urgot and Nidalee. And Kog'Maw joining the fight up top now. And, uh, the exhaust going down on that Jax. We've got Konami Code pushing out. Malika on the, uh, the retreat a little bit. Chavez Obama gonna get picked off. My Pantheon there. We got that root that goes down on Tarek. Tarek's gonna get taken out. And Serex is... Really low on hit points, so is Matrux, but by being pushed out like that, it enabled Super Waha to capture that top point with very little to uh, to stop them from doing so. Ooh, Waha wow. gets hit by that binding in the face. Sifu Calvin will be able to help clean that up. Archos with the kill. So we didn't get the point here for Malika, but they did win the fight, and without those mass revives, oh, oh great yep. spear to the face of that, that Yordle. And that means this point is going to be going to Malika. Absolutely. If anyone on that team, you know, had had revives to use, or if if um, you know Pantheon, you know, had died at a convenient time, but able to revive up there, then uh, they might not have uh, lost that point. Down at the bottom end what? of the map, Yorick had uh, Malika had pushed up uh, and been able to secure that point with the help of uh, Chavez Obama. Pantheon coming down to try and defend it, but uh, Kogma is letting him know what's going on. And he's taking a lot of damage there. Sarek's getting taken down. And Tarek, Pizzlenut, Super Waha moving down into position. Looks like they want to reclaim their bottom point. Everyone opening up on Malika. We got the Muffin going down on Malika there. I'm getting chased away. And uh, we got the Garrison going down on that turret. Got the ultimate from Morgana. Pizzlenut flashing out, but getting picked off anyway. Tarek getting uh, stunned. And then snared. That point's going to be successfully defected. Team Malika in an excellent position so far this game. 
Oh my goodness, they just basically aced at that point. I mean, Waha's back into action, as is this Pantheon. They are going to get this point back because everyone had to flee from it, but Morgana's going to be proving to be a little bit of an issue. So they hold on to it just by the skin of their teeth, but it will go down. She will not be able to go two on one, but so far an excellent opening for Malika. They're up 474, just under 400 now for the Konami code, and they're kind of on the defensive. They all just respawned, and again, without those revives... It's really turning out to be a very nice early game for Malika. Yes, we can see now uh, Shavos Obama coming down here. Still paired up with Zorik down bottom, trying to secure that bottom point. Sarex chasing away. But up at the top of the map, Konami Code pushing up. We got Arcos uh, putting some damage on people there to interrupt the cap. Uh, Nidalee getting picked off. And fight breaking out. Point gets neutralized. Renekton gets taken out. We've got Morgana capping while uh, Urgot attempts to keep Tarek away long enough for her to be able to secure that. Got the pool dropping down there to take out the minions. And Sifu Calvin interrupted or er, intercepting rather Tarek there in the jungle is going to knock him down a couple notches. Sarek's getting the shutdown on Malika. And Malika defending from the great beyond. Delays that point a little bit longer. Yeah, Jax had to actually throw down his ultimate just to, uh, not Jax, Pantheon had to throw down his ultimate just to cover the distance, but, you know, Malika doing an excellent job down south. He did delay that point, which means that uh, for a little bit there, it was one point to the Konami code because it did have to, you know, get defended. We did have it neutralized. Uh, looks like Yorick actually doing work. Found Pantheon uh, in the middle of the forest. Did not see that. Apologies. But Malik is now going to come down here and say, get off my point. Bizzlenut has no choice but to leave it. And you can see the, the big uh, pressure coming up here is Lil Rut. Is about to go down, but for some reason survives long enough for Morgana to pick up that kill. Well, Super Wahids got locked on by Urgot, and this is not going at all for the Konami code. It's not working this game. What are they doing now? I think they entered in that code wrong at the menu screen because they now are four caps to one with a lot of pressure being applied bottom right now. Matrux, Jack's not quite able to hold on to that point. It looks like it's going to get neutraled if not cap. They don't have anyone coming down bottom. There's no revive for that Jax to be able to come down here and save it. So it is going to be uh, five caps for at least just a little bit here. Arco is backed up on the point. We got uh, Konami Code chasing Wowix into the jungle there. Super Waha trying to unseat Urgot, not able to do so. It is a five cap right now in favor of Team Malika. <laughs> Wowix is uh, trying to run it out. He's going to be trying to defend this top. I mean, at this point, uh, it's, he's essentially just trying to be as nosy as possible. But, you know, Renekton not taking the bait is not going to be running off from that point. So it is now neutralized. Wawix does have to retreat. But at this point, yeah, it doesn't matter. We don't even have a point to our name. Kogma taking a kill on top of the Yordle. Malaga doing a great defense down in this bottom lane. And, you know, oh, a point to our name. We finally got that top. But at what cost? We still only have that top. Yep, that top point uh, undefended right now, but it looks like Mal Team Malika is not worried about it at the moment, knowing they can just go pick that up at any time that they please. Arco is getting chased down in the middle of the map. He's going to get shut down by Renekton. Sifu Calvin in a dangerous position. That spear almost connecting, but not not quite. Morgana getting the, the snare down here on a little rut in the middle of the map and is able to pick him off. And we got Malika going for Pizzlenut now in the mid. Super Waha looked like the shoe was going up, but instead she's going to come down here, try and help out, not able to do so. Matrix trying to neutral this point in the uh, middle of the map. We have Shavos Obama, Kogma going up top to uh, take that point back. Got the pool. Yeah, it's going to be a three on two fight at the point, but it is neutral. We got Arcos now going to be trying to claim it back. Matrix does have the Lulu ultimate on top of him, but we do got the suppress coming off. It's not going to be enough to, to take down Wawix. Not any close, but, you know, we do have the reinforcements. Renekton now coming in with Tarek. They are going to have to be forcing these guys off the point, but it is now neutral at the same time. Pantheon taking the bottom lane. He's going to finally get that point back in their name, but the top was taken again by Malika, and, you know, they're not giving up. They, they do not want this point to go whatsoever, and Super Waha is going to be taking some big deeps. Yeah, we got a lot of, lot of damage being exchanged here. 
No clear victor at the moment. Both teams having uh, members of their, their, their team that are forced to move away. That point still neutralized, but the clock is ticking down still. While this fight goes on in favor of uh, Team Malika, Sarek's getting picked off. Still fairly even split on that. Chavez Obama getting taken down. Pizzlenut and Super Waha coming back into the fight. Sifu Calvin and Wowix being chased away. Malika down at the bottom end of the map looking to get a neutral or a cap on that. Little Rut starting the cap up here. Going to get interrupted for a moment to get into a better position. Sifu and Arco is getting chased away. And uh, Little Rut is able to reclaim that point for Konami Code. And down here at the bottom, Malika is going to take that point uncontested. Jack's coming down to the bottom. Going to move away. Going to wait a little bit for his teammates to arrive. 37 to 431 is the current score. We're nine minutes in. We got the garrison going down as the defense for Malika is going to be throwing down the ultimate. He's trying to get Little Rut, but he's going to give up on that. But, hey, mission accomplished. The point is now defended. We're still taken down. Matrix is able to clean it up. Too much resources dedicated into trying to kill that Jax, but... It's going to be in vain. We got 10 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, 10 seconds and ticking down from here. And Konami Code actually has no one in a position to be able to neutral within enough time in order to stop that countdown. Looking to try and see if they can take out Chavez Obama before it ends, but no, not quite. A double kill right there at the end. And Team Malika is going to win, taking the third place in this tournament. Konami Code ending fourth.